Hello, good morning, good morning Southern Mindanao. Nandito na naman po tayo sa ating Saturday program ng Ateneo Voices, ang negosyo at pag-asenso po. So, kumusta po kayong lahat? Naway, uh, okay naman po kayo. A little bit traffic nowadays dito sa ating mga daan because of some repair. But of course, okay lang po yan. As, as long as we know na may maganda naman pong kahihinatnan yung mga pagbabago dito sa ating syudad. So today po, um, may uh, we have a very uh, important visitor coming from a very renowned uh, group. Hindi na po natin tagalan ang ating ang ating pagkakaroon uh, po ng panayam sa ating napakagaling na resource person ngayong umaga. Siya po ang ating executive director galing po sa Freedom Incorporated. Ang pangalan po niya ay walang iba kung hindi si Mr. Tony Peralta. So magandang umaga po sa inyo and thank you so much for giving us your time for this uh, wonderful discussion about your company po or your group. Good morning, uh, Jovi. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here to talk about uh, what we do in freedom, what we are, who we are, where we are. So, uh, for the benefit of our listeners, uh, in some uh, instances, magbinisaya kita kay para makasabot ta. Kay, uh, kung English lang tanan. Uh, Hindi po pwede English, <laughs> sir, kasi mukhang mahihirapan po tayong mag-ano po noon sa Bisaya. So, Yeah, we can talk in Tagalog or in or Bisaya so that we everybody can understand. So sige po, mag-umpisa tayo sa freedom. Bakit po sa lahat ng pangalan freedom po ang uh, napili niyo? Well, uh, f- first of all, freedom uh, was very much inspired by uh, the Holy Spirit. Oh. Mm-hmm. And uh This came about uh, after uh, morning prayers when we were looking for a name for freedom. Uh, we decided on the foundation for rural enterprises and ecology development of Mindanao. Mm. Um, we feel that uh, uh, we earlier had a vision of working just here in Mindanao. As a matter of fact, only in just one area in Buda. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the Buddha uh, area of Davao City, uh, working primarily with indigenous uh, people uh, groups. Mm-hmm. And um, it was one of those uh, unfinished uh, businesses that uh, in my whole career that I wasn't able to do. Mm-hmm. When we set up the uh, Growth with Equity in Mindanao uh, program way back in the mid-90s, mm-hmm. That was one sector that uh, uh, really did not uh, get as much attention as uh, it has been getting for these last uh, several years. Mm-hmm. Um, I, when I set up Freedom uh, together with some uh, of the people I used to work with, notably Engineer uh, Galero, mm-hmm. uh, John Galero, is an old-time friend and at the same time he worked with me in the gem program uh, he we both uh, uh, thought hard about how could we best help Mindanao with a number of NGOs already out there yeah. helping Mm-mm. but one thing that we noticed is that we could not reconcile the amount of effort put in by both government and uh, civil society yeah. and other groups that are uh, working hard to address the issue of poverty yes Because year in, year out, uh, every time a, pre- a new president gets elected, every time we uh, see changes in government, new programs are always oh, uh, oh. thrown out. Hindi ma- you're, tuloy, looking, tuloy. you're looking at billions of pesos spent administration per administration. And I'm beginning to wonder why, as a taxpayer, uh, we sometimes want to see where the money is going. Uh, it's only fair that we want to know what's happening to uh, the efforts of really helping out. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's been a com- combination of interesting findings uh, that we've had over these last seven years. We still continue to search for answers. Kanang nakita na mo ang kalisuran sa tao, may yun, hili man lang po sa pag kanang ingon nato kay 
eh, gipanganak silag pobre. Uh, one can only say na I was born poor, therefore I am poor for the rest of oh, my life. Oh. It has to do also with your attitude. Yes. I mean, uh, from what we have seen, so much assistance that has been poured in. And uh, we want to know why it's happening that way. Mm-hmm. And we have seen, we've been engaged in assisting over the last count. We've assisted more than 10,000 farmers already and counting to mm-hmm. the present from the time. 10,000? Yes, wow. all over the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, we operate now in about 48 provinces. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've completed projects in some of these. And uh, I'm truly proud to say that uh, being based in Davao, Mm-hmm. And having expanded to Manila, mm-hmm. because previously it has been Manila-based organizations that have been expanding to the provinces. Yes. So we have done the reverse. Uh, we have succeeded in that. Uh, uh, we've developed some technologies along the way, which we feel is much more pertinent given kanang uh, uh, kanang kanang daot na nahimo sa climate change. Oh, okay. Kung sa man climate change, kini, kini, kini siya ang pagbago sa panahon. Panahon, yes. Na wala ta kamalay na sige nag-init o init, ang, uh, ang, ang warm weather is getting warmer. Yes. And, and in certain areas in the world, it's getting colder. Unya, kabalita ta, ang unsang nahitabo sa North Pole o uh, uh, sa South Pole na kanang ilahang iceberg dito. Uh, nat- uh, natunaw na, na nag-break away na sa ilahang main mass no sa ilang ice uh, formation so uh, kung tanaw na to na sa among trabaho pod kay kami pod ng trabaho pod mi sa climate change commission sa mga projects namo dito nakita namo na kana di ay dili ni istorya istorya gera tinuod gud ni so uh, kung tanaw na to ang pinaka dako gyud na uh, threat diri sa Pilipinas kanang giingo na tong uh, uh, sea level rise yes. sa pagtaas sa tubig, tubig yes. and kita kaya ang atong mga isla sa Pilipinas kita man gyud ang uh, ang ang fronting uh, uh, kanang uh, Pacific Ocean di man ang dagan sa tubig no pa adto diri unya dili pa na igo uh, naapatay kanang uh, giingo na tong uh, uh, the warming of the seas, no? pag-init sa tubig. So, ang kagawasan na na is really uh, kanang coral bleaching, pagputi sa coral. So, uh, kana sa paghitabo ana, ang mismo ang marine life ni mo na nagasalig sa pagkaon dito, wala na'y uh, makuhaan o pagkaon. Mm-hmm. So, so, teka po, as much as what we're talking about freedom po, ano po ba yung thrust talaga ng freedom po? Okay, freedom, uh, the main thrust of uh, freedom is to uh, seek viable and sustainable solutions on livelihood programs and ah, okay. how best this can be uh, uh, implemented in rural and uh, urban areas. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, the activities of freedom span all the way from agricultural extension services on sa manikining paghimo sa mga farm production management plan uh, kanang cropping plan kanang mm-hmm. soil analysis pod uh, kanang paghimo pod sa mga farmer climate field schools no or which is really a variation of the farmer field school except mm-hmm. that we had to put in a lot of climate change adaptation measures for mm-hmm. our agricultural uh, communities uh, we also uh, provide uh, post-harvest planning mm-hmm. uh, as well as uh, using uh, the value chain to identify opportunities for our farmer uh, organizations on where best they can uh, possibly increase their incomes. Mm-hmm. So that is for the agricultural side. We also uh, have the business development services, which is which handles basically the running of the business uh, of uh, the farmers through their cooperatives or associations. And uh, the kind of uh, services we offer is from business planning all the way down to uh, product development. In certain cases, even 
going to the point of product certification through uh, your good agricultural practices. Oh, okay. And uh, in certain instances, working with other organizations that promote uh, international uh, product certifications, as in the case of Rainforest Alliance. Mm. So, napakarami po palang yes. ginagawa. And then ano from ngayon? there, we have, um, we also are in the business of uh, providing uh, monitoring, uh, project monitoring and evaluation. Uh, we have been involved uh, largely with the Department of Agriculture in uh, handling project monitoring uh, activities in uh, the regions of uh, Sambuanga, Caraga, and as well as late summer. Uh, we have uh, been also uh, been engaged by the private sector in undertaking um, uh, socio-economic impact uh, studies uh, that uh, uh, where their operations uh, can uh, eventually also benefit or affect uh, the communities where they are in. Okay. So, ang tanong ko po, you are just, kumbaga, tumutulong sa mga grupo or I should say association, yes. not individually? No, uh, uh, that's on a case-to-case basis. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, uh, the people that we do work with are people that first uh, must uh, be willing to cooperate mm-hmm. because we've also seen that uh, in our programs uh, that there are communities that simply don't want to change, mm-hmm. that simply want to just uh, stick to business as usual mm-hmm. without uh, welcoming change. And uh, sad to say, these are the communities that are often uh, in the poverty ladder, mm-hmm. yeah, below the poverty ladder. So th- where are these, ano po, yung mga lugar na ito located, yung mga usually po na tinutulungan ninyo? Yung mga tinutulungan namin, uh, ba, that's all over, mostly in rural areas. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I told you all the provinces, maraming, maraming. <laughs> just too, too many. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, all I can say is that we have uh, worked in 48 uh, uh, provinces in this country. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have we have a main uh, branch in Butuan City, headed by Engineer Galero, and uh, an office, another uh, project office in Bacolod. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're doing the sugar block uh, planting uh, uh, project now of the Department of Agrarian Reform mm-hmm. in uh, two major provinces. We run about uh, 51 uh, demo sites. Uh, mm-hmm. for these farmers to uh, see how uh, uh, the cambric inoculation uh, technology which we have introduced uh, mm-hmm. uh, can help them. Uh, we also have an, uh, a small office, a field office in Luzon, in Calamba, mm-hmm. Laguna, mm-hmm. that's uh, uh, proximate to, U- to UP Los Baños where most of our consultant partners are also uh, serving as professors, especially with the uh, environmental sciences. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, napakarami po talaga. So, here, we, usually po, uh, kasi you, you are all over the Philippines. So, can we focus a little bit po dito sa Mindanao? Kasi okay. para malaman po natin right. sa ating mga kasamahan na meron pong taga, ano, um, from Davao po mm-hmm. na gustong tumulong sa kanila. So, can you tell them ano pong possible na pwede niyong maano sa kanila? Okay. Uh, it starts with, uh, uh, I'll answer your uh, questions with, uh, two points. Uh, the first point being is uh, the kind of assistant that assistance that Freedom uh, provides is, uh, of course, uh, dependent on the situations that exist in the community. No? Uh, for one, uh, we also l- uh, are realistic enough to know uh, what can work in certain communities and what uh, uh, can work in their uh, areas given uh, their situations and the like. So uh, that's one. Uh, the second portion here is uh, we primarily work with government agencies that have projects there. So how do we get these projects? We bid for this. Ang freedom po walang mga grant na tinatanggap, any major grant from uh, any uh, other agencies. Uh, we've always been self-sufficient uh, mm-hmm. in the way we we've been prudent enough in the way we um, uh, run our businesses because we believe that if you're to talk of governance, mm-hmm. and I believe that's mm. <laughs> well, you uh, that's your cup of tea. Mm. Uh, we believe that uh, if you talk about uh, good management, it starts with you. Correct. 
So uh, we um, have uh, basically have uh, done that, and I, I think uh, from our perspective in freedom, the opportunities are limitless. Mm -hmm. uh, we have seen so many uh, things, and we've seen how uh, a lot of these uh, are uh, related to one thing, and it's sustainability. Projects fail for two reasons. Mm -hmm. That's first, poor project design yeah. and poor project management. Yes. That mm -hmm. is uh, mo th th really, that's uh, from what we've seen mm -mm. from uh, this, because uh, in certain uh, cases, we've uh, seen projects uh, go south because of these two aspects. Mm -hmm. So, so doon po kayo pumapasok? Pumapasok kami. We try to tell uh, agencies, ito, ito po kulang, kailangan natin i-address ito bago natin simula ng project. So, but a number of them also don't understand. They still insist on staying on with the contract. Yeah. So, what we do is we just uh, do it on our own para lang uh, masigurado lang namin na itong projects na ini-implement namin would have a better chance of succeeding. Yeah, hmm? okay. So, pero yung intervention po ninyo, merong corresponding ano po yan? Ano po yung ang um, pwedeng ilabas ng ating mga kababayan? Meron po bang fee yan or whatever? No. Uh, normally, pag uh, government funded dyan, wala. Mm -hmm. uh, except that maybe in certain uh, aspects, government now would require that you have a counterpart uh -huh. uh, be it venues and facilities ah, okay. or uh, uh, availability of uh, labor if you are to put up demo farms no and then uh, yun and then yung kung sabihin natin strictly kung wala naman na uh, business side uh, we uh, ask the community to just take care of doing the uh, taking care of the venue mm -hmm. uh, if they can afford it the food because oh, okay. uh, yun naman lang and we sometimes just uh underwrite the cost of uh, sending our consultants, uh, sending uh, the people to help them and uh, do an assessment. Uh, if this would require further intervention of government agencies, then we bring it up to the attention of government agencies mm -hmm. na kailangan ng tulong dito. Mm -hmm. uh, we can only, we've started by doing an as assessment and then kung talagang urgent yan, uh, we look at it on a case-to-case -case basis and if it's something that we can truly afford, then yeah, we'll do it. Okay, so far, ho, how many government agencies have uh, you partnered with? Uh, we partly uh, partnered uh, mostly uh, with most of it, uh, ranging from uh, the Department of Agrarian Reform to Department of Agriculture, Department of Trade and Industry, uh, the Climate Change Commission, uh, Department of Science and Technology, uh, and also uh, the different... Uh, other smaller uh, uh, agencies like uh, well uh, uh, of late uh, also DNR no uh, and the uh, provincial LGUs as well as uh, municipal uh, LGUs mm -hmm. uh, where we are in no who's uh, uh, the list is kind of lengthy very yeah. Marami. so uh, most of which po uh, parang nagko-coordinate po kayo sa mga farmers at saka sa mga agencies mm, in mm. providing this, um, mm -hmm. how do you call the one, assistance? Yes, uh, we're, we're more of a, ser a professional service providers. Um, our, uh, the kind of consultants that work with us are uh, mostly retired uh, executives of different uh, companies. And uh, some of these are even multinational companies. Some of these are balik bayans. Some of our uh, other professionals are uh, retired uh, executives also from uh, government agencies. Uh, we have a very good mix because we do also have entrepreneurs on our, who's also working with us in helping uh, uh, communities achieve what we call a good entrepreneurial threshold. You know, meaning to say, the, the really the problem has really been the lack of uh, enterprise development in uh, the poorer communities. Mm -mm. Could you imagine this? Uh, let's say, I'll take uh, an example of the coastal areas. The coastal areas are where you have the poorest of the poor. Yes, yes. So, uh, talagang kawawang tao doon. But unknown to them, it's really the presence of some resources that could be uh, tapped for development without compromising your biodiversity. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. And one of this is uh, really the development of the Nipa palm sugar industry. Mm 
mm-hmm. which we take pride in. We help develop that product together with the uh, local government unit of uh, Lanusa. Ah. Yes, in uh, mm-hmm. Surigao del Sur. Mm-hmm. And uh, that product, which is uh, the Nipa Palm Sugar, won uh, the national award in 2015 mm-hmm. as the best product during the exhibition uh, hosted by uh, the Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Agricultural Research. So uh, that alone was uh, uh, really a main achievement. And we continue still. Uh, there are a number of products we're looking at, testing right now. We're developing this at our own cost. This and is organic? Oh, yes, 100%. Yeah. Uh, walang dagdag po yan. It, this this uh, follows uh, uh, the kind of technology you use to produce cocoa sugar, except that ko ang cocoa sugar kanihang lan sa uh, mosaka kapag lubiana mm-hmm. onya i fertilize pa nimo mm-hmm. ini uh, ni, ni pa pam sugar it's already there uh, the crop is already a standing crop uh, all you have to do is to maintain the condition of your ni pa pam tree stands ah okay it's the only crop that i know that's really totally uh, uh, climate resilient ah ganon every time na magkaroon ng storm surge every time magkaroon ng baha that crop is least affected. Kahit na malakas ang agos? Yes. Wow. Ganun katiba yan. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it stands along with uh, mangroves. So it, uh, it shares also that uh, protection. It's a very good uh, investment for communities to start looking into uh, uh, seeing how they can propagate this. But the propagation uh, matter is not really uh, an issue because... Uh, uh, by the very nature, biological nature of nipa palm sugar, it is an invasive species. Ang nipa pa- palm huba, is this the one being uh, promoted by Malaysian po? Ito bu- po ba sila? No, yun? no, no, that's Iba palm yun. oil. Palm oil yun. Oh, palm oil na. Kana, kana, that's inland. That uh, You have to really uh, plant that along uh, certain slopes, no? Mm, uh, kasi sabi nila, environment, ano ata daw, may risk ata na pinupose yun. Well, uh, there are two sides of the story here. Um, if you look at it, it's a type of uh, uh, project implementation when you, uh, the, the kind of risk is twofold, one in the environmental, one with the community, where you don't get to involve the community, therefore, you create resentments yeah. between the community and the investor. Mm-hmm. And on the other hand, uh, on the environmental side, uh, if the project does not comply with environmental standards, uh, with the kind of uh, fertilization or the kind of uh, uh, chemicals or uh, herbicides that they use mm-hmm. uh, for this... Uh, Nipa palm oil, lang, you're talking about this? No, no, no. Uh, palm oil. That's, ah, palm that's oil. not to be mistaken by Nipa palm. Ah, so palm Nipa palm oil is yun. a coastal crop. Ah, so ni papam yung sa inyo. Yes. Yung sinasabi ko na parang may That's continuous. Inland. The, ah, okay. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a contentious issue. Just like in any plantation agriculture ah. crop, there are always issues there. Yeah, it's a, It's a question of uh, understanding how the business model works. Okay. Making sure that the community benefits from it. Making sure that the environment is protected. Yes, you can achieve that balance. And we've seen that happen as in the case of uh, Barangay Kapatagan, mm-hmm. where we've assisted uh, uh, certain cooperatives like uh, the Kapatagan Banana Growers Cooperative. Mm-hmm. Uh, these, uh, they followed really uh, more than the standards required by the good agricultural practices. They're certified with Rainforest Alliance. Uh-huh. Rainfor- Rainforest Alliance is an international NGO based in New York. Okay. They're the ones that certify the coffee beans for Starbucks. Mm-hmm. For Shuttle's Best. Uh-huh. And now, uh, Philippine Bananas, uh, uh, ha- I think about three or four organizations within the, in the Kapatagan area, Barangay Kapatagan, are certified okay. with this. So, what does that mean? They really adhere to uh, good the practices. principles of good agricultural practices respecting mm. the environment and mm. uh, matters like that. Panina po ay napag-usapan namin ni Mr. Peralta, yung ati pong Executive Director ng Freedom Incorporated na may marami po silang mga uh, sabi natin sila po ay consultant po sa iba't ibang uri ng mga serbisyo para po sa ating mga magsasaka all over the Philippines. Kaya po mamaya uh, before po tayo mag-end pwede po natin alamin kung ano po yung kanilang contact number, yung kanya pong whatever Facebook para po malaman natin kung uh, papano sila makakatulong sa ating mga magsasaka po. And then uh, Kasi po yung ngayon lang po ay na ano ko po itong kanilang ginagawang nipa, 
Yes, Nipa Palm Sugar. Nipa Palm Sugar na napakasarap po. Hindi po siya matamis. Pero it's good for diabetic. Yes. Oo. It has a lower uh, GI count uh, than uh, Coco Sugar. Aha. So napakaganda pong ito. So bigyan po natin ng focus yung grupo na yan, sir. So ito pong mga taong gumagawa ng Nipa Palm Shu- uh, palm sugar. Palm sugar. Taga saan po ito sila? Uh, you can find these people uh, in coastal communities where you have uh, a huge population of uh, uh, nipa palm trees. Specifically, uh, saan po yan? Uh, this you can find in the areas of starting with Surigao del Sur. But there, Surigao del Sur uh, in the municipality of Lanusa is where they have uh, really... Uh, Uh, produce uh, starting to produce uh, sugar. Uh, other communities that have uh, already uh, uh, begun the process by uh, producing vinegar because the uh, nipa sh- nipa palm uh, can also produce vinegar. Oh. Can produce syrup. Mm. It it can also uh, produce bioethanol for oh. your energy requirement. It has multi use, not mm-hmm. just uh, uh, not just sugar alone. Uh-uh. So we're looking at this uh, right now. It's being used for more low-value type of activities, like uh, cutting uh, basically the branches mm-hmm. of uh, the nipa to make roofing materials uh-uh. for the house. Can this tribe or tutubu po siya under the coconut tree or saan po ba ito dapat? Coastal yan. That ah, coastal. Gro- that's uh, very much in some certain areas. You do find coconut uh, along with uh, nipa and mangroves but this is very much close to the shore <coughs> so coconut uh, the coconut tree and the nipa palm tree are uh, Makapat- belong to the same uh, f- uh, branch uh, they don't fight they don't, they don't. <laughs> Magka- so okay <laughs> pa yan Mag- na yan. so ibig sabihin po dun sa mga lugar na bahain pwede po ito Uh, yes, uh, pwedeng pwede yan. In fact, uh, that is one resilient crop as I've said. Uh, well, uh, I cannot think of any other crop na oras na pinasukan ka ng storm surge or yung pagbaha ng uh, lalo na yung mga palayan na that's very close to the uh, coastal areas. Once na pumasok ang uh, seawater dyan, you lose your entire uh, farm or your entire farming area and it would take time to really recover from that but in the case of uh, nipa palm uh, trees once the waters recede back to the uh, sea then uh, business continues business uh, you can continue your tapping for uh, nipa sap and you start converting this to uh, syrup and then from syrup we process it further to sugar ah. or sometimes it's being just it stops just being syrup because it's all it can also be used for hot cakes mm. it can be used for a lot of uh, uh, other applications no <laughs> C- culinary applications ito pwede rin ito it's a very good material for making uh, ah. uh, cooking wine mm. but in the provinces this is also used for a more of uh, an al- alcoholic drink Marami no, po palang gamit oh, oh, to. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Maraming gamit yan. And of late, uh, we are now uh, intrigued with this possibility that Nipa Palm uh, uh, tree carries also with it very strong analgesic properties. Oh. So may medical application so, yan. Uh, no, drinking then or Yes, tablet. what they do is they burn uh, the, the leaves of it uh, are really cooked and then grounded into fine uh, matter until uh, it becomes easy to digest. And that is how uh, we found out that a number of these residents there that don't have access to medicines, that's how they're mm. able to take care of themselves. Oh. Uh, so matagal na ginagawa. Matagal na palang ginagawa yan, mm. except that it's never really reached the aspect of commercialization. Mm-mm. So in commercialization naman is just more of uh, increasing your production and uh, increasing your uh, uh, market uh, reach. So, uh, for coastal communities, we see this as a hope. To give you an example, we've, uh, based on the studies we've done, uh, for every 10 hectares of uh, Nipa Palm, we're able to uh, generate employment of about 100 uh, people that... Uh, can benefit from this and kung tignan natin yung daily wages nila 
uh, they can be paid a little more than the minimum wage. Mm-hmm. So, kung minsan, inisip ko nga, uh, you know, if this is something and this is a message to the Department of Agriculture, I think if you really, and DNR, if you're looking for green jobs, this is the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that uh, in itself is something uh, that the community can benefit from. Kanya, kanang atong kwarta na makuha diha, pwede po na to, uh, uh, mabahin o hatag po dito sa mga communities uh, sa areas na walay mangrove or kanang depleted na wala na nabili na mga mangroves mm-hmm. no? so we can do replanting mm-hmm. I always believe that if you extract uh, something from the environment make sure that we are Balik. able to bring it back uh, we call that payment of environmental services no? PES uh, but uh, unfortunately PES is not really practiced here because once money is earned, it's all mine. And yeah. the grid factor comes in with, uh, uh, with uh, people forgetting that there's that obligation to really maintain the environment. <coughs> Pero meron po akong tanong. Do you provide seedlings for this NIPA palm? Okay, uh, a good thing you asked that. Uh, NIPA by itself is already a standing crop. Uh, the seedlings of which uh, come from the nipa tree. Okay. And, and sometimes if you uh, uh, look closely enough, you would wonder why you have um, uh, nipa palm trees in the middle of nowhere. And uh-huh. we found out why. Yun pala, uh, kung high tide kuminsan, kung mataas ang high tide, mm. these seedlings get washed Mm-mm. all the way to the inland uh, areas. Mm-hmm. And that's why you see this, uh, as I said, uh, Nipa. Nipa's uh, other characteristic, it has a very strong uh, uh, capacity to really grow, uh, even taking over the environment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, invasive yan eh. That's an invasive uh, species. Opo, dun sa mga lugar po na walang ganito, but can you provide seedlings for that? Oo. We have not uh, looked into that because we primarily work with areas that have already standing crops. But ah, that is something right. else that I think uh, that's a good point. Uh, down the road, we should look into that uh, mm-hmm. possibility if that can be done at all. Mm-mm. Because uh, what we have focused on is are the standing crops that are there. Uh, first is really establishing the viability of this. Uh, when we pursue projects, it, it's, we are only guided by two principles. It's got to be market-led, meaning to say there has uh-huh. to be a market for that. Yeah. And the second part of it is it has to be financial via, uh, viable. viable no? mm-hmm. Kasi kung uh, wala naman yan, it doesn't meet that, the, the twin criteria of uh, market viability and financial viability, then there's no point of pursuing it. So you said this this grows within the coastal area. Uh, hindi necessarily do yung meron ng dagat or yung nasa ano dry. Uh, well, we've seen in certain areas, but uh, what we've what we've seen is uh, uh, Nipa itself becomes much more productive if it is along the coastal shore. Ah, shore. Okay. Yeah, shoreline. Eh. Uh, mm. It's a shoreline uh, type of uh, crop that we see growing alongside with mangroves and coconut trees. In certain instances, even uh, among uh, rice fields, we've seen this, no? But mm-hmm. uh, more on the edges of the rice field, nakikita natin yan. Mm-hmm. So, napakagandang ano po ito, no? Alternative. Kasi, yes. we, we're talking okay. nowadays. To give you uh, uh, the dynamics of what uh, what it's like. Mm, okay. Uh, in uh, 2014, the international uh, uh, demand for that product in uh, Europe alone mm-hmm. is about almost $22 billion. Yeah? Yeah. Why? And then I, I looked at, because uh, again, uh, market preferences shift. Uh, people now are more conscious with their health. Mm-hmm. Uh, I uh, uh, would like to uh, share with you that uh, the biggest market for Nipa sugar really here in the Philippines are uh, its diabet- diabetic uh, yeah. patients mm-hmm. no? or people with diabetes. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's estimated that about 10 million people in this country have about uh, diabetes oh. and another 10 million not knowing they have diabetes. Oh, yung hindi pa na diagnose. Yes, so yung hindi pa na diagnose. And I'm one of those na hindi pa na diagnose at that time, but last December I found that I am a diabetic. How would you know? 
blood test. A blood test. So it showed that the I had the colitis. I had to address that. Now oh. I'm diabetic free, but oh. it doesn't mean because you're diabetic free, you can get back to. Correct. Yeah, you have to maintain that discipline. So ibig sabihin before the sickness or illness uh, will you know stri- uh, strike you or you will have that. Dapat prevention. Yes. Yeah, so that's why they have to take all this. So your market really are among those kind of people. And for those people who don't even have diabetes yet, but Correct. want to really head it off by eating right, yeah. living right, Yeah. that would be a way to Good. go. Uh, the This kind of market was spurred by uh, the trends that we see in wellness. Yeah. And you can see that it's more of the medical management of uh, our own health that we look out for, that we're yeah. able to prevent, let's say, Uh, coronary disease no? or cardiovascular uh, disease. Now, why is this important? Because, as I said, and I go back again to the issue of climate change. Yeah. With the weather getting hotter and hotter, could you imagine what a one degree increase would do to our farming yeah. communities? Yes. Much more for a two degree increase in the temperature. Mm-hmm. Your own uh, production cycles would uh, all uh, go to waste. Your productive capacity in your farms would go down. Yeah. Much more on the human aspect, those with cardiovascular disease mm. would be very prone to uh, uh, heart attacks, Mm-mm. for one, because of the excessive heat. Teka, meron sa, sana akong i-connect. Ano. Okay. Kasi we're talking about this Nipa Palm. Now, how is it connected to climate change? Because, uh, for one, uh, uh, that crop is very uh, climate resilient. Uh, so hindi nasisira hindi siya affected hindi okay. siya nasisira kagad then, unless you're talking for you know a gigantic uh, tsunami hitting uh, our coastlines then where everybody is gone and we will be all underwater yeah pero But, siya standing pa rin standing yan Ka- ano yan so you have um, baha, baha drought na, uh, uh, yes storm surges wow still strong yes ano po ba ang proseso niyan uh, pag makat ikat ho ba yan o Iha-harvest? Ano? No, no, no. Tinatap. Ah, Just like when you get tuba. Ah, diba? okay. Kung makuha kang tuba sa lubi mo, saka ka mananaw mm. niya. Uh, may may papasok ka doon. Extract ni mo. Oh, oh. Oh. So, ah. in this case, it's it, it follows the same principle of okay. uh, getting uh, uh, coconut sap. Uh-huh. It follows everything, even from uh, the cooking. Except in the cooking side, uh, you spend a lot more time in the drying portion of that in order to really take out the moisture content of the product itself mm-hmm. because uh, we found out that uh, the moisture uh, uh, content can affect uh, the uh, odor of the product yun amoy niyan so oh, dapat oh. my way of story pero ang tanong ko po uh, when you plant that one sabi natin nagumpisa pa lang kayo ng plant how long can you possibly harvest this kind of sap uh, every day Every day? I mean, ha- five, you name five me months, a crop. one year? You name me a crop that can be harvested every day. Harvested every day? Ano po ba? Uh, yung mga gulay-gulay? Even yung coconut mo. Mm. You, you, uh, after a, there's the productive uh, uh, capacity in uh, or the biology of plants. But this one you can uh, harvest. But ang harvesting nito is only for a short time in the ah. morning for an hour. Mm-hmm. Then you go back in the. At, uh, you have to do it early. It's time sensitive. Once you harvest ah. it, you have to process it right away. Uh, so, so what I'm saying is, pagka tubo po niyan, ilang taon, eh, ilang buwan pa bago kayo makakaroon ng parang sabi natin yung the ripe one para makuha niyo yung sap. Well, uh, sa experience namin, uh, the, ma- the more mature ones uh take about mga three years to four ah, years ang years. growth ah, ang growth okay. ng from the time that uh, it's uh, a small, small uh, but right now uh hindi namin masyado tinitingnan yun uh growing yan because you already have so much uh, uh of that in abundance ah, now okay. um we found out that in terms of uh uh area coverage of nipa the philippines has the third largest in the world Mm-hmm. following Indonesia. Indonesia is huge because of their massive uh, coastline. Uh, their, uh, uh, they have a massive coastline where you ha- you find a lot of this Nipa uh, existing. And mm-hmm. also in the Thailand. Mm-hmm. Yan ang pinaka 
Mas uh, marami. Mas marami than ang, the Philippines. Ang tanong ko po, instead of mangrove, is it possible ni papam na lang or ano man? Hindi, the ma- mangrove naman. Uh, Iba. Okay, all of these uh, uh, crops, no? the coastal crops, <laughs> ha- have their own roles in uh, in uh, preserving the or in sustaining the biodiversity and the area. Ang role naman ng nipa as it correlates with uh, uh, mangrove. Ang mangrove kasi is it's not really it's a very good source for uh, for especially in roots nyan that mm-hmm. is where you see a lot of these small fishes uh, mm-hmm. live no in mga school of fishes in uh, especially in marine marine protected uh, sanctuaries no mm-hmm. so we've seen that uh, they feed off on uh, this uh, and at the same time uh, i've been asked back in certain areas daw ang ang uh, nipa is only produced at a certain level it's because they cut the tree, the leaves. You should not cut the leaves for you oh. to maintain a consistent uh, quality. Uh, quality. At the same time, hindi ka limited to five months to six months a year. Mm. But let's say, be that as it may, kung ganun nga, what happens now to the farmer, then we look at other uh, activities that can happen in the community, like crab fattening. Mm, possibly. Mm. Oh yes, very possible. Mm, marami pala talaga siya. It, ano. There's a lot of pos- You have to look at it in, uh, from the point of view really of uh, uh, viable business model. What really can work? Uh, will the numbers work? Will there be markets for that? I- in both cases, yes, we're convinced. Um, we are bringing in our partners to look at uh, the market of Nipa Palm Sugar from the European Chamber of Commerce and uh, Japanese Chamber of Commerce of which uh, Freedom is a member were members of uh, those organizations as well as the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. So uh, these f- uh, linkages that we have with our foreign partners has allowed us to uh, feature these products even before they go commercial so that they uh, can invest or if they are interested buy the product itself so mm-hmm. that by the time uh, we are able to go on to a commercial uh, scale. scale then we have ready markets for that. Oo, so, you're saying right now, with all those people na may mga ganitong nipapam uh, trees, um, you also help them uh, market? Yes, we do. We uh, do. In, we not just local? Uh, not, not just local, even abroad. Abroad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talagang mm-hmm. malaki ang presyo sa labas. There's a big difference, of course. Uh, for one, uh, uh, the U.S. dollar still carries its uh, weight over the Philippine peso in terms of its yeah, uh, ca- uh, currency valuation and all. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, that is uh, something that we look forward to. No, yung mga market linkages that we <coughs> explore with our partners in uh, the chambers is something else, and uh, we also work closely with uh, the communities, helping them identify yung mga local com- yung sa local market na lang nila. Let's say, uh, because uh, if uh, the export markets take longer because of the certification requirements, yeah. uh, because you're talking of food here, no? so uh, they have much more stringent uh, measures abroad for you to meet. The standards. So while waiting for that, create the critical mass here. So uh, one of the th- if most effective strategies that we have uh, uh, taught our communities is to start looking at the calendar at their calendars and see how many fiestas there are mm-hmm. for them to exhibit their products. Mm-hmm. This becomes selling opportunities for them. No? So, mm-hmm. pinupuntahan, dinadayo nila yan. Mm-hmm. Along with that, so they have what they call, a, they invest in a tarp and then get a booth and display it there. And Do you uh, do you do that also? Yeah, we do that. Ah, mm-hmm. Once in a while. Do. Once in a while, we participate. Uh, uh, but most of the time, we let the communities do it because mm-hmm. uh, I b- we believe that that's one way of capacitating them. Yes. Especially if they're ready, there's no need for us to be there. Uh, and yeah. That's their show. So. Yeah. But if uh, they need help, we're always there to help out. Pero so far ngayon, I- you're not just dealing with Nipa Palm. You still have other... Uh, other crops that we're looking at that we are nurturing. Like? Uh, one is uh, organic vegetables because the vegetable market, we just finished a project for the DA uh, about last Friday uh, we held a reg- regional conference here in Davao mm-hmm. on presenting uh, the results of uh, a market assessment uh, study that we did for the vegetable market and indeed 
it was a very good uh, discussion we had with the farmers. Uh, that was the culminating activity after having a series of small uh, uh, conferences <coughs> on the provincial level. Then we had a regional uh, conference yesterday. Yes. Okay. So, magbabalik po tayo uh, after these few reminders. But before that, uh, from 1216, may greetings po para kay Kuya William Tan. Um, happy birthday sa inyo po. Uh, so, from this is from your friend, most probably, no? 1216, ang kanyang number. And, of course, greetings to Mrs. Loloy, Mr. and Mrs. Loloy Henosas for their uh, 20th wedding anniversary. So, congratulations po for your wedding anniversary Okay, so magbabalik na naman po tayo sa ating programang negosyo at pag-ascend. So, naway, naway, uh, may napulot po kayo dito po sa aming pinag-uusapan sa importansya po ng nipa palm trees na very resilient po itong nipa palm. So, kung meron po kayong tanong ukol po sa pag-propagate or paano po gagawin ito, yung mga produkto po. Kasi from nipa palm alone, may magagawa na po tayong mga sugar, vinegar, ethanol, which is like, ano po yan, sir, yung wine? Bioethanol uh, is a requirement of the Department of Energy. Uh-huh. Hinahalo yan as an additive to your fuel. Ah, no, fuel. Sa, sa gasolina. Ah, okay. And then at the same time, yung ibang byproducts niyan uh, uh, are like uh, syrup, ni pa palm syrup, ni pa palm sugar, uh, ni pa wine, Mm-mm. no, both yun alcohol and the other one is used also for cooking wine. Cook, wow. Uh, sa pangluto. Uh, if you've tried, let's say, ni pa with uh, ni pa sugar with uh, adobo, it will take you to another planet. I guarantee you that it's so good. Mm-mm. Good yeah. for the health as well. Yes, very good for the health. Hindi ano tawag niyan cholesterol free. Ay, cholesterol. Uh, f- uh, I will not say entirely cholesterol free. Uh, ang ang atin na kasing measure sa sugar that the one that we really use is uh, the glycemic index count, no? GI. Ang GI niyan is about uh, sa research namin is 28 to 29. Mm-hmm. Mga paalo, ang coco sugar is about 35. Ah, oh, Ang threshold ah, mo. Ah, mas mababa siya. Oh, ang threshold mo. The lower it is, the better. Yeah. Ang ang threshold mo is about 50. According to the Philippine Medical Association and uh, yung sinusundan rin nilang standard is the American Medi- uh, Medical Association. No? So, if I were to an- analyze, mas maganda pa ito kaysa coco sugar kung ganun. Yes, uh, but uh, the market for both, uh, while they're looking at natural sugar sweeteners, is huge. Mm. Malaki talaga. So, Pero pwedeng ang, gamitin itong dalawa? Ang labanan talaga dyan is on the product, product packaging, pricing, and uh, ah. the consistency of uh, product supply in the market. Mm-hmm. So, ang tanong ko pa, who, who is certifying that this product is fit for, you know... Human consumption? Human consumption, Bifan. as well as for... Uh, sending it overseas. Uh, that's a importation. That's the Food and Drug uh, Administration, no? In FDA okay. natin, uh, uh, formerly BFAD, the Bureau of uh, Food and uh, Agricultural uh, Department mm, or Division. So, so uh, kailangan may mga ISO ISO po ba yan? Uh, ISO only comes in if uh, you have already established a full manufacturing uh, plant. But what we call is a GMP. Uh, which is your good manufacturing process uh-huh. certification. Papasok yun dyan. Mm-hmm. So, mga kasama po natin, pa, ano hong binibigay ninyo na certification? Uh, I mean, certification is actually uh, more confined on them uh, being able to uh, process it correctly. No, uh, We work with other uh, groups that are already certified by uh, we start with the good agricultural practices uh, certification or no? gap certification as sinasabi natin but, but that's the department of agriculture uh, so um so marami din po talaga pa lang ano nito no yung way o, on how to certify that but for now po paano niyo ho na masisiguro na ito po ay okay for consumption for consumption because the fact that uh, it's been consumed by Uh, other countries we look at their uh, their manufacture their processing uh, 
activities and we somewhat uh, tailor fit it to uh, what they're doing there man nagbe benchmarking kami noon uh, especially in Indonesia because they really Indonesia for instance doesn't treat this anymore as a village type of industry naging malaki na ito even the shipment of uh, nipa palm sugar uh, is done in container uh, ships no uh, the, uh, you're talking of bulk containers coming into to the port and really you're looking at very massive massive shipments mm-hmm. uh, Indonesia has taken the lead on this in fact a lot of this if you really want to know more about it it's available on YouTube mm-hmm. just type nipa palm sugar and you will see the kind of technologies that are uh, na ginamit namin as reference in producing this because the same naman lang ang karakteristik ng uh, nipa natin dito with Indonesia because of the geographical pr- uh, proximities that mm-hmm. we have uh, madami rin ito sa Manado madami rin ito mm-hmm. sa area ng Sulawesi mm-hmm. Kalimantan and mm-hmm. all of these countries uh, are all of these uh, pr- provinces are part of Iaga itself mm-hmm. pero ang so, tanong ko po how, how did you manage to know that this particular plant is good for uh, you know uh, manufacturing as uh, as it is? sugar yes uh, for one we've seen uh, we've seen that as a good uh, model implemented by other countries so we looked at what we had here and we found out that there w- there's not uh, a lot of difference in the biological uh, characteristic of nipa palm sugar with other uh, countries in fact it's almost the same so we figured out that if that's th- the case then we can start producing here and we're doing that although now o- on the village level not really on uh, uh, pangmalakihan although we are now working closely also with uh, a project of the United Nations uh, known as Biodiversity Finance Biofin uh, in working also with the Philippine uh, Business for Social Progress PBSP, BBSP yeah. Yeah, we made a presentation to them way back 2 months, 3 months ago uh, the response has been very good uh, there are ongoing negotiations between our group and their group to really see if this could be done on a commercial scale uh, with coastal communities being the main beneficiaries. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I, I think may mga listeners po tayo na mukhang interesado po sa inyong uh, ginagawa, especially po siguro dito sa NIPA. But, so probably uh, later on, we will give them your contact number. Yes, yeah, sure. Kasi mukhang... Uh, this is a very promising, I should say, plant. It's an emerging uh, crop. Uh, in fact, uh, that uh, crop has now been uh, given preference by the Bureau of uh, Agricultural Research as one of the emerging crops of this country. Uh, it is our hope that uh, we're able to upscale this in the poorest uh, uh, areas of uh, this country to address, truly address the problem of poverty. Aha. Uh-huh. So, opo. so, masaya po ako kasi ang dami ko nang na-interview dito na marami po tayong mga crops ngayon na mukhang uh, fit for, ano ba, export. Human uh, consumption. Uh, consumption yeah. also. At saka, hindi lang national or local, kundi international. Yes, yes. So, ibig sabihin, marami tayo dito sa Mindanao na In pwedeng... Fact, for that, uh, natulungan namin na uh, Farmer Association, which is the Situ Ipil uh, Winemakers Association, where... Uh, uh, I'm going to Manila next week to receive uh, their uh, uh, international patent. We were able to help them get secure an international patent for their brand name, which is known as Azucar de la Nusa. Oh. Uh, Azucar de la Nusa, we helped them put that name together. Do uh, you deal with the um, government or LGU? Yes. Mm. They are our partners. Uh, we believe that the LGUs play an important role, especially in less developed areas, because that's the only form of organization that's out there mm-hmm. that's capable of, uh, provided that you have very good governance uh, situations there. Mm-hmm. The Nusa really po is in Surigao? It's a fourth-class municipality. Oh. Surigao del Sur. So, ano pong pagbabago uh, before and after na pag ano ninyo intervention? Well, uh, for one, they're now upscaling. The, they were able to... Uh, uh, get a grant from the People's Survival Fund. Uh, it, it's a uh, they were able to access a grant just to benefit the Nipa palm sugar. It's about mga seven million. They were able to get that to construct mm. a building mm. to buy the machineries that they need. Yeah. So with that, they're pretty set. Uh, they, these guys are ready to go uh, and commercialize their business. Uh, so. 
uh, amongst all the farmers, sila lang po ang may ganitong facility? Uh, for sugar, yes. But there are other uh, farming groups that have already, uh, they're very close to get, uh, going to the next uh, phase, which is really the production of sugar because they're already into uh, producing syrup, they're producing wine, mm-hmm. they're producing uh, vinegar. Mm-hmm. The mere fact that you are already engaged in this, it's very easy to migrate that kind of uh, business engagement to producing sugar. Mm-hmm. So, ibig sabihin, marami na itong na-employ? Uh, doon sa area nila, uh, sa ngayon, uh, the one that could answer that would be, be I guess, their focal person. Uh, we've not been there for uh, a little while. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, we intend to come back soon the moment we, we get these facilities up. Right now, we're more concerned with building the market mm-hmm. okay. uh, by reaching out to uh, your uh, uh, your non-traditional markets, ito yung mga niche markets for organic products. Yeah. No? And then at the same time, looking into already into uh, possibly certifying this, uh, what are the certification requirements to, un- to undergo this. Because the communities that we train, gisigurado mm-hmm. uh, mo na masabtan po nila na kanihanglan uh, mamit po nila ang kanang production standards. Yes, of na course. Na dili pataka at magamit lang ang uh, unsang proseso na unya dili na ito mamit. Okay, kung mapalpak na, hindi, mada- madaot lang, dili lang sila, pati mm-hmm. kami. Correct. So that's why uh, we're watching this uh, every uh, development and all. We make sure that uh, we are able to uh, leave a very good mark on product quality. Yeah and consistency. Opo. So, uh, ito pong sinasabi nyo kanina, you're into vegetables also. Ano pong particular, are, are they climate resilient? Ano bang ano, tawag uh, na? Ito naman sa vegetable farming. Ang situation kasi right now, uh, except, uh, and I load the efforts of the uh, Vegetable Industry Council of uh, Southern Mindanao, Vixmin. Uh, they're doing a lot of uh, headway here, uh, especially in upland communities where these vegetables thrive. Uh, but still, there's a greater uh, uh, number of farmers that still uh, practice traditional uh, agriculture. When I mean, when I say that, uh, the usual use of herbicides, oh, oh, uh, oh. fertilizers, oh, oh. Uh, the, those are things that we see uh, uh, are detrimental. Also, Correct. it may look on the onset, it may look good, but mm. if you know what the amount of uh, herbicides that they use. Uh, to protect their plants from pests, uh, you not you you probably would not want to eat vegetables. Yeah, from, that, from that's what one thing so I we, dread. Yes, exactly that. No, so as I said earlier, diba? Yeah, uh, what you are, uh, what you eat, pala, is uh, defined by what kind of a person you are. Mm-mm. So yun, uh, we want to stay clean. We want to. Uh, uh, be well all the time then it's an investment Mm-mm. that you make in your own uh, uh, body to be well Mm-mm. so what kind of vegetables do you probably end up on? Uh, we're looking now because uh, we'll be starting soon a another uh, uh, de- demonstration actually it's not a demo farm it's more of a pilot farm that will uh, incorporate uh, climate change adaptation in organ- organic vegetable production and we're looking at Carrots. Carrots. Yes. Uh, Chinese pechay. Mm-hmm. Cabbages mm-hmm. or lettuce, I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also uh, are looking at other uh, root, c- root crops like yakun. Mm-hmm. What's uh, that? Yakun is a root crop, uh, very sweet. Uh, mm-hmm. It is uh, not exactly sweet potato, uh, but uh, it has... a. Uh, that that uh, kind of crop is uh, very parang much ube. found uh, parang ube but very sweet ang kanya na pag mm. pinutol mo yan you do, you, you once you har- harvest that then you um, clean it up and slice it up and eat it it can be eaten straight and it's really fantastic taste you know mm-hmm. so yun <coughs> uh, so these are all ano then climate resilient yes na, and ano? we will in, uh, we will uh, use really uh, our uh, o- own organic practices to show show it there, but the problem really lies in uh, yun mentality of getting rich quickly on this. Oh, okay. You cannot get rich on this kind of business. Oh, oh. There's a learning curve in Correct. organic farming Maba-haba. that you have to invest in. Yes. Now the problem here is that 
Okay, ang kita na ako so uh, what farmers tell me all the time, ang kita na mo karon ingon ani unya you're telling us that it will go down a little. Of course, it will go down a little because you're uh, you have to somewhat uh, provide time for your soils to heal. Mm-hmm. No, to adjust Correct. to uh, oh, oh. Uh, organic farming. Lalo nang ginamit nila Lalo na kung intensive ang gamit mo ng herbicides. Uh, for instance, madaot pa ng yuta na. Correct. Oh. So, d- are, are you also ano, helping? Paano ibalik yung soil? Yes, yes. Mm. Uh, we, uh, the, the, the thing with uh, working in upland communities, hindi na yun sabi natin na uh, uubra yun fully mechanized uh, farming. Uh, in fact, for protected areas, we do not subscribe to the use of that. We go for conservation farming. Mm-hmm. Conservation uh, farming is much different from your regular uh, agricultural farming practices because this one uses a different approach. No? In conservation farming, meron tayong zero tillage. Mm. No, pag sinabing zero tillage, you just make a hole just to plant. Mm-mm. You don't upset the entire environment Mm-mm. by running a disc harrow or yeah. a uh, a uh, tractor uh, uh, across the field. Hindi sisirain yung hindi contour. Hindi masisira yan. O, hindi. Uh, kung yan, it will follow the principles pa rin ng uh, Slope. sloping agricultural la, land uh, technique. No? Mm-hmm. So, that kind of, uh, we'll, we'll be using that uh, in this uh, project that we have in uh, Barangay Kapatagan. Mm-hmm. We've used uh, Barangay Kapatagan as a very good example for uh, what can happen if we, you do this. In fact, uh, I'm bringing already some people that are interested in marketing uh, this product from uh, the pilot farms. Mm-mm. Because if the buyers, uh, if the local community sees that, then they may consider. Mm-mm. So, wala naman pilitan ito. It's a uh, free country. You can, yeah, it's a free choice of what you want to do. Basta lang, uh, we don't damage the environment. Mm-mm. So, um, Paano po ba yung ano, uh, in case po may gustong bumili ng products nyo, saan po sila pwedeng bumili? Ang products nyo, well, uh, we have a list of farmer organizations and they have the, their different marketing outlets. We can uh, point you to them. Uh, as again, uh, Freedom itself, uh, we are uh, only assisting communities. Uh, but pretty soon, uh, we have just decided recently that we will also engage in uh, producing nipa sugar because of the market and uh, we want to showcase what we're doing the good practices of uh, producing this mm-hmm. may nag-text po from 8299 good am very interesting topic about organic products uh, ang pinag-uusapan po natin where we can possibly buy their products sa diocese of Tagum po ito. So ito, oh ito sinasabi ko na sa inyo okay. saan mabibili. De umakyat tayo sa Barangay Kapatagan. Uh, ah, ah, akyat doon. <laughs> well, makita ninyo, that's like uh, ecotourism na rin there and you'll see how uh, farming is uh, done there. Uh, hanapin ninyo doon yung Barangay Captain, uh, yun ating uh, magaling na si Barangay Kapitan uh, Junjun Morales. Uh, uh, you may also wish to look for one of our coordinators there, uh, Mr. Hustino Oplas. Mm-hmm. They are the main uh, contact persons in that area. So and how far is Kapatagan from the main uh, Digos area? Uh, it's about uh, 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. Pahakyat po yan? Pahakyat yan. Oh, uh, layo-layo it, naman po kasi. Yeah, well, you want to go to uh, the market source. Uh, there's yeah, nothing like ah, you okay. getting it from, uh, from directly from directly. the source itself. But uh, right now, the marketing channels for vegetables are very much... Um, yeah, that's one, one thing we're trying to correct. No? Uh, if you talk about uh, organic uh, farming, ang, prada, ang, niche, uh, um, ang market strategy niya should be uh, working with uh, outlets like SM, Robinsons, those large uh, grocery stores. They, they, have, uh, they provide a, uh, a space. space for organic products. Mm-hmm. Doon mo mag- magkikita mostly. Pero yun nga lang, uh, whether these are certified, uh-huh. are these, kaya nga, ang, ang sekreto dyan, you look for, as a buyer, I would tend to look for whether uh, this is GAP compliant, meaning mm. to say, good agricultural practices compliant. Ay, may nakalagay po ba? Yes, uh, meron yan. Uh, especially for those that uh, are in the know that uh, actually yung GAP uh, mm. certification can be obtained from your dip- uh, from the Department of Agriculture. Mm. Uh, you can uh, request their assistance. They are the ones that provide the certification for you. Mm-hmm. But for you to do that, you must really follow a set of standards uh, that really uh, uh, 
uh, that re- really will promote good agricultural practices. Mm-hmm. Uh, ang tanong ko po, yung bang product, if we were to buy directly sa kapatagan, is it um, cheaper than the ones yung mga dito na nilalagay? I would suppose so because uh, the products that uh, once you see that and mo- most of these are offloaded in the public market in Bangkerohan. Do, ah, do Bangkerohan. Market chain. Yeah, because a large part of the vegetables that we do eat come from uh, uh, on our estimate about 60% of the vegetables in southern Mindanao are being produced by in the Kapatagan uh, area, in Barangay Kapatagan. That's Ibang why uh, sa amin naman, nakikita namin, that's why we have to upscale it na ang market hindi necessarily limited to uh, uh, ka, uh, to let's say to Bangkerohan, not to the public market but upscaling this for better prices <coughs> for our farmers to better marketing outlets yeah. because they're the ones that really can pay for this and mm. what we're after here is really improvement of household incomes Mm-mm. yeah so who who ano who brought that uh, ano yung mga products na yan from kapatagan to here? traders you have, traders you, you have you have a, you have a trading system here eh? mm. uh, the farmers are the ones that uh, plant this yes then upon uh, harvesting kagad nakakumit na yan to oh, the okay. traders. And Kasi highly perishable po itong ating yes. mga gulay. So, ang isa pa dyan na tinitignan natin uh, which we hope uh, we're working with some groups that are looking into uh, uh, one benefit that this uh, food terminal we will have in Turil will will cut down, hopefully, your post-harvest losses. Mm. Because yung post-harvest losses mo, a large part of it happen in the transit yeah. of the vegetables. Kasi yes. kuminsan, linalagay lang yan doon yeah. sa isang, uh, kuha, no? supot. isang uh, supot o sa banyera na malaki. Tapos yan, tinatakpan ng newspaper. Tapos kuminsan, yeah. inaapakapakan pa para maggas siya doon sa Correct. lahat yan. So, yeah. if you see this, and you're looking at uh, selling this uh, and, and wanting to get prices, better mm. prices, yeah. you as a buyer would not want to Correct. Want Pag makita mong makita ganun, mong ginaapakapakan lang. Ano ba yan? Ah, mahirap mm-hmm. yan. Mahirap mm-hmm. yan. Mm-hmm. That's not going to sell. So, a large part of that really goes into, um, and I was t- talking to the uh, people in uh, Kapatagan, really, mm-hmm. has to do a lot with product branding. Mm-hmm. Uh, for instance, even in the way they present the, uh, the packaging itself, yeah. makita mo yun, there's such a, such a thing as the psychology of colors. Yes, of and course. And those are things that we have mentioned to them in mm-hmm. our discussions. We provided that as part of our training before. And we will continue to do that. Na talagang upscaling everything. Yeah. One much more thing that we're looking down the road. Hopefully, this will come in the next uh, three years or four years. Is coming up with an electronic trading platform. Mm. How's that? Mm, talagang oh up- yes. Uh, we're talking to a group now. They're based in Japan, and uh, they uh, have uh, talked to me about a uh, uh, similar system that, like, what Lazada uses or mm. Amazon uses. Na Online. O- online na yan siya. Uh, yun lang, what we have to figure out is the delivery really. The hard delivery and maybe that's where you have a lot of service providers like LBC coming in. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, oh, oh. Napaka di, uh, ano to, vegetab- exciting. You know, this is something else that I really see as a good promise. No, I mean, the challenge is there to improve uh, people's lives but if we don't embrace technology, if we don't oh, embrace oh. changes and if it's going to be business as usual, you are condemning yourself to obscurity. Correct. That's another level up. Because eh. you, you really have to invest in changes that are made as long as you know that this will benefit you. Correct. Okay. So, uh, mag, ano muna po tayo, magbabalik po tayo sa ating uh, programa. Uh, after few reminders, uh, time check po, it's already 11.37 in the morning. So, dito lang po sa 89.9 Spirit FM. This is Spirit FM 89.9. This prayer of thanksgiving is offered for the intentions for all the parishioners of St. Jude Malvar. Masaya ka ba ngayon? Naabot mo ba o natupad ang iyong mga mithi? Magpasalamat tayo. O God, of whose mercies there is no number, and of whose goodness the treasure is infinite, we render thanks to your most gracious majesty for the gifts you have bestowed upon us, evermore beseeching your clemency, that as you grant the petitions of them that ask you, you will never forsake them, but will prepare for the reward to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Spirit FM. Spirit FM. 
Okay, ang ating oras po ay napakabilis. It's already 11.43 in the morning. By the way po, kung ang mga nagtatanong po kung anong ibig sabihin ng freedom, ang ibig sabihin po ng freedom is Foundation for Rural Enterprise and Ecology Development of Mindanao. Ayan po, kaya acronym po itong freedom. So, uh, of course, wala na po tayong oras, but then again, we, we have to ask the Executive Director, Mr. Tony Peralta, to give us... Uh, ano mga parting message ano bang gusto niya pong i-share sa ating mga na- tagapakinig bago po tayo uh, mag off air ngayon Sir? Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, Jovi for uh, uh, listening to us uh, uh, with our experiences in the field and uh, I guess what I'd like to show, share with your uh, <coughs> listeners today is um, there is always hope in what we do no i mean we are not constrained dili ta mahadlok na modawat og change sa atong uh, atong uh, mga gitrabaho labi na sa pag-uma no it's very challenging right now because of uh, the risk posed by climate change no kana pagbag-o sa panahon pero naapod na i technology na makatabang sa tuwa sa pag uh, uh encounter sa atong uh, kinabuhi sa climate change no so uh, that's one the second aspect here is that there are organizations and we hope that there will be more organizations like us that can also help uh level the playing field for a more sustainable uh, society uh, as i mentioned earlier in uh, in the earlier part of this uh, uh program about uh, uh, we have a lot of poverty programs that have led to nowhere and the problem of poverty is a never ending cycle, I don't believe that because it ca- it's man made it's man made, we can still make changes we can still make this viable provided that we have uh, the understanding of what it takes to uh, come up with a product that is uh, viable in the market and that can also make us some decent income so I guess the uh, overriding message here is that for communities also, it's the good governance, the barangay captains, the mayors, the municipal mayors, the councillors that make up your LGU structure all have a hand in development. I guess the uh, message that I have for everyone is that the currency of development is equity. Remember that the currency of development is equity. That has always been the mantra of freedom, and uh, we will pu- continue to pursue that in our undertakings, both uh, in uh, the present activities and our other uh, future activities. With that, uh, I'd like to uh, thank you. Uh, I also will uh, give you a number you can call. Uh, you can uh, reach me at 918 965-6901 Again, uh, the number is 0918 965-6901 Okay. And uh, you can also reach us uh, at our Facebook p- uh, page uh, Freedom for IPC Number 4 yan, uh, IPC IPC stands for Indigenous People Communities So, uh, Freedom for IPC at Facebook and we also have a web page which is uh, freedom for ipc.org mm-hmm. so in case po they wanted to reach you they can call they you. can send me an email uh, through our website uh, through facebook uh, facebook seems to be the fastest uh, Way. media yeah. to uh, get to anybody else yes. uh, we always check uh, that for messages our response time is within we normally answer that within a day Mm-hmm. So, uh, if there are any questions, yes, we, we would be more than happy to uh, answer uh, that or uh, get our consultants uh, to engage with you directly. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. So, any people you would want to... Uh, po? Yes, I'd like to uh, uh, give thanks, uh, first of all, to uh, uh, the staff here at uh, DXGN for taking the time to invite us here. Uh, I'd like to uh, also thank our board of trustees. Uh, uh, with our uh, ever-loving uh, uh, chairman, Archbishop Kapalya. Uh, uh, we take a lot of uh, inspiration uh, for in our work with him. 
and to our partners uh, in the government agencies and also to our offices here in Davao in uh, uh, Butuan City in Bacolod in Calamba in Laguna uh, and as well as in Cebu dagang kayong salamat sa inyong tabang freedom is not just about me uh, it is about everybody else that concerned that that is concerned with uh, improving the life of uh, our uh, fellow citizens in rural areas so okay. dagang salamat yes sir at saka napakaraming ano po namin i mean we we owe this time sa inyo na pumunta kayo dito despite your hectic schedule pumunta po kayo dito just to share yung message po kung ano po yung ginagawa ng freedom kasi marami pong mga tao na hindi nila alam po na yes. anong ginagawa ninyo but then again uh, I hope marami pong uh, nabigyan po ng clearer picture kung ano po itong ginagawa po ng Freedom Incorporated so in case po meron kayong uh, plano uh, na kontakin siya so sa Facebook po ang napakadali pong kontakin which is like Freedom 4 na 4 na number and then IPC i-like lang po ninyo ang page and then you can uh, message him or whatever no nandoon lang po ang ano sa Facebook every day binubuksan ho yan sir ano every day yes okay so they would love to have you as uh, uh, one of the persons na gusto pong umingi ng tulong sa kanila they would love to help you also anyway kulang na po ang ating oras magbabalik po ang ating programa sa susunod na sabado the same time 10 o'clock in the morning hanggang 12 noon naway nasiyahan po kayo sa aming diskusyon ngayon ukol po sa organic farming na uh, tinutulong po ng Freedom Incorporated sa ating mga magsasaka. So yun lang po naway nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan and see you and hopefully makikinig pa rin kayo sa aming diskusyon next Saturday. So God bless everyone. Have a nice day. This is Spirit FM 89.9